Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now some people wonder, does your smartphone slow down when its internal storage gets fuller and fuller? Does having a, an internal storage that's like running at 95% full actually mean that your device is slower? Well, I've done some testing with the one terabyte version of the S10 Plus and that's allowed me to really see the effect of the capacity and how much free space there is on a disc and the performance of the phone. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Now I know that some of you like to have a quick answer without me going through all of my data and all of my conclusions. So what I'll do is I'll answer the question for you now and then you can just uh, move on to the next video. Please like and subscribe before you go. But here's the answer for you. Does your phone slow down when the disk storage is full? No. Okay, have they gone? Okay, so now for the rest of you, thanks for staying. If you wanna find out more about that, then let's dive in a bit deeper. So what I've got here is I've got the uh, S10 Plus with one terabyte, as I said. I've also got a OnePlus 6T with 128 gigabytes. And basically I've got to test uh, an app that you can download from the store, and I'll leave that in the description below, that tests the sequential read-write and the random read-write speeds of the internal storage. And basically all I did was run the test, and then all I had to do was copy over files onto the uh, internal storage. And then all I had to do was run the test again and then copy more files and so on. So this is what I found out. So this is for the S10 Plus with one terabyte. The yellow line at the top is the uh, sequential read speed. And as you can th see, this was fairly consistent all the way along. At the very beginning here, we've got 918 megabytes free. And then at different stages with less and less free space, we can see that the read speed was basically the same. Now actually the random read and the random write speed stayed very much the same as well. However, when you look at the sequential write speed, you can see that stays fairly consistent right up until you get to 12 gigabytes free, it's still okay. And then when I had five gigabytes free, there was a bit of a drop there, and then that drop continued uh, right up into four, two and a half, one and a half, although it did seem to recover a little bit, but certainly there was a drop in performance when there was only a few gigabytes free. So what we're seeing here is that for sequential writes, it slows down a bit when there's not very much space left. In this case, it seemed to be about five gigabytes or less. And the reason for that is when you're writing a big file, in this case, this test uses a one gigabyte file, it's trying to write it in one contiguous block, and it probably can't find that one contiguous block free on the flash storage when there's only a few gigabytes left. So it has to kind of chop it up and write a bit here and a rip bit there and a bit somewhere else. And that becomes more like random read writes. So therefore, when you haven't got much disk space left, the sequential write speed can drop ever so slightly. However, random read and write stay the same and the sequential read stays the same. I also performed the same test on the OnePlus 6T with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. And let's have a look at the graph for that. And as you can see here, very much a similar story. The read speed, sequential read speed is very, very high. The random read write speed uh, remained consistent across the whole uh, of the uh, free space test. But here we started with 96 gigabytes free, down to 82, 68, 39, 10. And then from 10 to five, we see a bit of a drop. And then from five to 1.5, again, this is different to what we were having up at 39 gigabytes and 68 gigabytes. So it looks like it's the same story there. So the same again, when you're writing a big one gigabyte sequential file, it probably doesn't all get laid down one after the other. It has to jump around a bit and that does slightly reduce. However, that reduction is only for sequential writes, it doesn't affect the random read write speeds. And basically it's very, very minor. You're not gonna actually see or even feel that difference. So overall, it doesn't affect the uh, speed of the IO. If you're getting technical and you wanna look at the minutia, yes, there is a minor drop. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims, this is Gary Explains. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and well, um, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. When I have a blah, 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 blah. However, oh, that reduction though is only for big files, doesn't affect the random read write speeds. Um...